Mamma Mia! Well, well, everybody, this is Miles Luigi. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers: The Hunt for the Magical Key. We're going back in the factory, because I actually have a decent idea where the secret exit is, and I didn't even look it up, but I have a decent idea, so I will be back in a flash! <laughs> <laughs> Any sane, normal human being would just bring a cape to this level and say screw you all to the entire big gigantic block puzzle, cause you either get the Rainbow Cannon of Doom, or you get a cape, or you somehow do what I like to call, I guess, the, uh, a block puzzle of extreme pain, suffering, and why would you ever subject yourself to this? Um, anyway, uh, in this level, I couldn't help but notice, and it might even be coming up here, that I just straight noticed, yes, a passageway there, which was only blocked by the lack of a P-switch, which means the only thing keeping me from said secret exit in this level would be a uh, P-switch. Now, we found a springboard, but I just was looking around, I'm like, there has to be a P-switch here somewhere, and obviously it has to be gotten via the springboard, and of course we have another rainbow, well, another rainbow cannon. There was the original one, which I haven't figured out how to get to yet, and then that rainbow cannon there. I'm not going to pick up that rainbow cannon unless I see an immediate obvious use, well, I suppose this is the immediate obvious use for it. I really should have brought a cape to this level. I really should have brought a cape to this level. In the interest of keeping that thing alive, though, I'm going to... I don't have time to do this. Shoot, there's a time limit to this stupid level. Ah! <sighs> I guess we'll cannon to do this thing. And then all we have to do, it's like, that's obviously the secret passageway. That's almost certainly the secret exit, which means that's where we want to go. Yes, and there is a P-switch earlier on in this level, but it's protected by P-switch blocks, which inherently gives us a very strong issue. You need a P-switch to get the P-switch, which, yeah, that's not normally how my allegory goes. You need a P-switch to get the P-switch. You need to get the P-switch to get the P-switch to get the P-switch to get the P-switch to get the P-switch. I know the springboard is back there, and the springboard is like an actual sprite, which means it doesn't despawn. I forgot. I thought that was the goal. I guess I was totally wrong. That's not the goal. That's why I just let myself flail to my death. So, um, if I were to theoretically bring the springboard here, I could use it to get back. Okay, so those... Yeah, we're going the wrong direction. We are going the wrong direction. So, is our P-switch hidden in one of these blocks, or where else could said P-switch be truly hidden? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the rainbow thing behind there, unless there's some other use for it that I am not seeing. So my only, my only problem is the lack of P switch, or I know where one is, but there's the uh, qualm. I need a P switch to get the P switch, which is a problem, because I can't get a P switch without a P switch. And I'm now thinking to myself, just thinking to myself, is there any way I can glitch through here? <sighs> Also, I fell down the hole and died. Wow, holy crap. Um, well, there's... I'm looking at this. Okay. M m I'll go backwards. Go backwards. You, you have springboard. There is a gap there. Can I get Luigi into that gap, or is that a solid wall? I'm thinking that it was actually legitimately made to be a solid wall, because Luigi's not making it into there. Yikes! Okay. 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 Fudge! Fudge, 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 fudge. Actually, that's a star, it's not a P-switch. Wait, I thought that was a P-switch this entire time. It's not a P-switch, it's a star. Well, how would a star help me? Star doesn't help me. Star does not help me. Yeah, I'd be a crazy to try something like that, Miles Leach. Guess I'm crazy! Ah! I'm in a factory with no P-switches and no way to get a P-switch here. And there's a very obvious secret exit that's just sitting there, and it's like, Oh, hey, collect me! And I can't! <laughs> so, for all of you thinking, what about that speed switch? Nope! 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 It doesn't work! It doesn't work! So we're just gonna basically destroy this entire factory with the power of our cape. Like so! Let's go! Aha! Ha 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 ha! Just had the P-switch in the frickin' little box in the corner where you need a cape to get it. And I was right, there was a solid block there. Ha ha! I have figured out that it is, yes! This secret exit 
has now become defeated. Yes, and that ends up just being a shortcut actually to the next fortress level. Which, why would we use fortress level? Where instead we can do an airship level without grabbing any further save states. After all that baloney, this is the treat that Luigi gets. He gets treated to a airship level with no power-ups whatsoever, in which a bunch of bullet bills are just aimed at him. And these bullet bills are shooting bullets, you know? They aren't like shooting candy or anything like that. They're shooting real slowly moving bullets. <laughs> real moving... Oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't see it, Luigi, I hope I jumped on the thing, okay, because I noticed that that bullet bill launcher was kind of, you know, aimed in such a way that it could actually legitly hit Luigi, I could really use a hider or more uh, field view here, considering where I'm platforming, it's nice to be able to see where I'm going, because if I can see where I'm going, I can plan properly. Uh, otherwise, I might as just have Luigi suckling his thumb in the safe zones, and all oh, that safe zones, that's not where the power-ups are. Oh, I hope that's another set of power-ups. Ooh, indeed it is. Okay, so I'm not doing so bad. I'm not doing so badly. All of you who are at home, like, playing your tiny little violin, you can stop playing it now. <laughs> Miles, Luigi, how many people do you think at home actually legitly, like, actually play their tiny little violin, the smallest little violin in the world, to commemorate all of your favor failures? And that's what they play. I'm like, why are you playing a tiny little violin? Can you play a tiny little harp instead, please? Pluck the strings of a harp. I would prefer that, actually, a tiny little harp. <laughs> Everyone who has a tiny little harp at home, you can play that, but not the tiny violin. Um, the tiny violin, um, no. No, thank you. That does not suit me. The harp does. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking of very, very angelic music playing at the moment. Because it's a tiny harp, the angelic music has extremely high tones, which means it actually probably doesn't sound all that uh, great. So, uh, scrolling screen, we're just going to stay here for half a millennium, right? Yes, I guess we are. Okay, I feel like I can jump to the next platform and hopefully I won't get blasted in the face there the bullet bill, though it appears if I stand here I'm safe from that launcher as well though. Now it's time to move! Whoop, whoop, no! I gotta shit through all that junk I'm not. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is an auto-scrolling level! What do you expect me to do? Sit through the whole auto-scrolling level again? Not happening. Yeah, I died before the end of the level again. This needs to quit being a freaking. It's a meme at this point. Miles Luigi died at the beginning of the level. Miles Luigi died at the end of the level. Miles Luigi never dies in the middle of the level. Because the middle of the level, like, if you look at presentation theory, like, in an English class, you'll, you'll learn that the beginning of a message and the end of the message are the most important bits, and everyone falls asleep in the middle of the presentation, which means that, you know, when you're in the middle of a presentation, you can throw in all your boring junk there, and all your really interesting stuff you want right at the beginning to catch attention, and right at the end to drill home the point. That way you have a balanced speech. And the thing is, very clearly, me dying at the beginning of a level or at end of the level drives home the point that Miles Luigi died, which isn't exactly the point that I would like to drive home to the audience is my death in a Super Mario World ROM hack, but that ends up becoming what people remember. Oh look, it's the first enemy of a level, and Miles Luigi literally ran right into it. Oh look, it's the last enemy of the level, and now Miles Luigi theoretically would have to go through the whole level, except he doesn't even listen to his own save state policy. I'm surprised Textile hasn't given me as much bullshit about it as of late. He's really mellowed down, all things considered. Uh, he, he tends to be a bit more trollish as of late more than anything else. Daddy needs to work on his spelling occasionally, but so do I. Anyway, uh, the, the, why did I even bother doing that? That was a horrendous and terrible, horrible, no good, very bad idea. I would like to get my power up before I get the, uh, fireball. But since I've got this... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, you house a secret. Aha! Aha! Ha, ha. Now that's what I like to call power, superpower. And with that, um, why am I wasting my time here? Because I want another power up or another star, please. Yes. Yes. There we go. Now I. How am I going to be getting my one ups of. I'm not getting any of my special one ups. Instead, I have very precision platforming. Okay, just a dragon coin. Nope, nope, going back. <laughs> not when we're dealing with platforms that small and a big lava pit right below us. And, and you know, this water has to be exceptionally hot, and all the critters who live in this uh, water have no problem dealing with the heat. <laughs> 
We, we actually just got the uh, jump glitch with the swimming glitch. Let's see if I can reproduce that, actually. Swim, 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 swim. Come on, when I want to reproduce a sound glitch, I can't. And when I'm just swimming naturally, I... Uh, I guess you're just gonna have to open up your ears and maybe go back in time with that part of the video. Sliding down... Ah! Gee, thanks for that one, Alex. No, sliding down and literally... Oh, that would have been my death. Is that the uh, goal tape right above me? Yes, it is. Now, because this is Super Mario World, I have to actually get up there to hit the goal tape if I go underneath the goal tape. Ah, I see. That's our midway point. Okay. Oh, I've got a couple of pipes I could enter. I was just about to say, I was actually anticipating one of these two pipes. Okay, never mind. Neither of them are enterable. Yikesers! Yeah. No, that was not the plan. I wanted to get up top and then get my feather, and then I would have been a happy camper. Okay, Mulligan, let's try this again. Hopefully this time uh, Mario doesn't fall down into the uh, prawn. I did the same thing again. I have bedazzled the entire audience and made them all just look at Miles Luigi wondering what in the world is he doing. There is just so many piranha plants here that even World 7 would be, be fuzzled and bedazzled by this world, I tell you. Can you get that? Can I scroll the screen? No, I can't scroll the screen. You got a coin. Okay, coins. You just sit there for some coins. Okay. And Koopa Football Player, you are not going to hinder me because obviously the piranha plants are a significantly greater hindrance earlier. <laughs> uh, for one up, no, thank you, though. That was interesting. How am I going to make this jump? That's not how I'm going to make that jump. Ah. Alright, so we're rational um, people watching this video, right? This jump is too high for Mario to make naturally, which means I have to uh, do a running jump from this perspective. That would be the only way that we could do a jump like this, so... Uh, but how do we get a running jump? In order to get a running jump off of there, I have to build up speed from, say, here. Oh, but man, but then I have to make that jump without going up into the spikes. The ceiling of spikes is very unhelpful. Okay, that was not the running jump that I needed. The thing is, you have this little running platform here, which looks like it's just enough to get the running jump. And it's like, if I get this P-Wing speed here, I might be able to do this. You know, Miles Luigi, there's probably an invisible coin block here to help you. Either that, or if I could bring a cape here, I could probably float down from the other platform. But unfortunately, I lost my cape to the piranha plants earlier in this level, this load state. And I am running low on time. Okay, very clearly, I need action. And, okay, that did the trick. I guess you could just... Oh, come on, game! <sighs> this is just as bad as the one time when I soft-bricked my phone and I ended up having to spend like eight hours trying to install Cyanogen Mod, where I just feel like I am beating my head across the wall trying to get this stupid thing to work. But nope, okay, my data plan now doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Oh, nope, G-Apps wants to crash. Okay, it crashed. Okay, it crashed. Okay, it crashed. Okay, let me just tell you this, everyone. On one hand, running custom ROMs on your Android phone is fun. On the other hand, I hope you have eight hours of your time to click all the baloney! Oh, hey, 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 what's the other direction? could have done better at the bonus game. Well, I guess the duffel of the level is hidden in that little subsection of the level, which I actually legitly think this, that was our secret exit. That was easy. This normal exit is going to be hell, and I legitly think it would be really in my interest to get a cape. Luigi doesn't have a cape. Luigi's the man. And I guess to go through this part of the level again. Okay, I'll be right back. Ooh, the devil is in this level, that's for sure, because first we have the Piranha Gauntlet, which actually, I have a Fire Flower, which might severely help me. Uh, okay, I can duck there, okay. Uh, Fire Flower me, please, thank you very much, and we don't want to lose this Fire Flower, because the ability to attack things- Well, gosh darn it, Miles Luigi! I don't want to lose this Fire Flower, I don't want to lose that, and yeah, okay, we're gonna lose everything- Oh my gosh, I had the running start that I wanted this entire time, and it's this jump that I'm talking about, man. Okay, so I was able to make it from here. Okay, that's not how we make that jump. Oh, 
well, now that we've learned from our mistakes, let's go ahead, take the hit through Piranha Plant Hell. There we go. And, uh, oh gosh, darn it. Okay, that power-up did not get stuck in the wall. Ha-ha! <laughs> the counter doesn't have to go up. Oh, come on. Okay, all power-ups already annihilated, and... Yeah, all power-ups already annihilated. I was supposed to say, here comes the epic junk to save it all. Spin jump it! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, so this is a dead end, and that's a mushroom, and unfortunately I lost my chance in a mushroom, but who cares about that when we can get a very well-needed and a cape that I've wanted for a really long time. Okay, no, 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 no. I just wanted to keep away the Bony Beanie because I didn't want the Bony Beetle to become alive in my hands. <laughs> okay, so it appears that the rest of this level has a layer of lava. And honestly, this layer of lava really concerns me because this is kind of room, especially with this background like this, that I'm thinking something layer two is going to kick in. And maybe the lava is layer two, which means it might start rising on us or we could run into... Actually, you remember those blocks from Super Mario World that slowly sank into the ground? And, and honestly, a level like this very eerily reminds me of, uh, I think it was 1-3 or the third level of Kaizo Mario that has a situation really similar to this, especially with the rotating platforms in and out of the lava. Thankfully, that's not what we have to deal with today, kids. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Brothers: The Hunt for the Magical Key, well, while today we didn't get the key to Mario's house, next time we're going to continue onwards through World 8, this very long passageway that takes us to the fortress and Presumably the next one will take us to the castle, and then guess what? It's Bowser's castle. So, <laughs> presumably Bowser has the uh, key to Mario's house because he's just flying outside out there. I don't know. <laughs> well, this, this ROM hack has proven one thing. There are flags that we can hit in the Mushroom Kingdom, and along with that, there's a lot of stuff out there to kill us. So what will we hit first? The flag or the enemy? We're going to be after the flag because we're playing Capture the Flag. This has been Miles Luigi. See you next time. You're playing with power.